Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing some makeup. I thought I would show you my current go-to no makeup makeup, supernatural. But what I've noticed is every time I wear this makeup, I get asked for a tutorial. So it's simple but effective. I'm really excited to say that part of this video is sponsored. You will see that later. I've been using Revitalash for a really long time and they reached out and wanted to work with me. So I thought that that was just so exciting. First off, we're gonna do our skincare. Ignore my hair as well. I'm gonna fix that. So these are the skincare products that I have been really, really loving in the morning. I don't know if I've showed you all of these before, maybe in like a, a vlog or something, but this is the La Roche-Posay Tolerain Ultra 8 and it's the Daily Soothing Hydrating Concentrate. I use this almost like a toner and I literally just, so got a very nice mist, just hold it from a nice distance. Gorgeous little bit of hydration and I just kind of pat that in. Ooh. You know that you're meant to put hyaluronic acid on top of kind of damp skin. That's it. That's the one. Like I get ready, not close to a bathroom. I can't really be bothered going to the bathroom to splash my face. So that for me is just perfect. Uh, I'm then gonna go in with the La Roche-Posay Hylou B5 Serum. This is their anti-wrinkle concentrate repairing plumping. It's their hyaluronic acid. I just take yay amount. I love hyaluronic acid. I feel like there is not one person on this planet that wouldn't enjoy it. So I'm gonna rub that in my hands and then when I'm applying, I just give my skin a wee bit of a massage. I just find it to be really relaxing and de-puffing. And I just take that down and then I go to my neck and just, oh, I can't tell you how nice it feels. And my hands are kind of cold with the product and it means I'm getting that product right down my neck and in my chest, you know, give your shoulders a rub. How are you gonna love anyone else if you don't love yourself, am I right? So I just literally bring that down and straight away, oh, I'm just looking fresher. I'm a bit red just because I've been rubbing my face. Love those, I feel like they're just so high and it leaves my skin feeling really juicy and oh, lovely. I'm gonna go in with my SPF next. Maybe I should moisturize. I was gonna say, I've, don't, I've not really been using a moisturizer. Once I use those products, yeah, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. You can't tell me what to do. Uh, this is the La Roche-Posay. I feel like I'm kind of La Roche-Posay obsessed right now, but there we have it. La Roche-Posay and Thelios. SPF 50, you will have seen this bottle a million times. I used to use it all the time. I really love their other new SPF, but for today, I don't want anything too glowy. I don't want to be too, too glowy. Uh, so look, I've got quite a lot of that. Uh, it feels like you're putting a lot on, but it's just actually how much you're meant to put on. And actually, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just apply that everywhere, eyelids and all, bring that down my neck. I feel like 2020 slash 2021 is the year that everyone is taking SPF seriously, myself included. So I do not miss this step. And actually I feel like my skin's really good for it because it's protected from the sun, but also you have to wash SPF off at night. So every night I'm doing a proper deep cleanse. Not that I didn't do that, but you know, the days that I wouldn't wear makeup, sometimes I would probably forget to wash my face. That's so gross, but truth talk, truth talk. And look at that, it's perfectly glowy, but it's not too much. For how much product I just used, which is quite a lot, it just sinks into the skin. So I'm hydrated, fairly dewy. I'm gonna use a tinted moisturizer. This is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. It has an SPF of 30 as well. And this is in the shade Sydney. So I've got a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna apply that kind of in the center. And do you see? It just evens my skin tone out. It's really not gonna do a crazy amount, but that's what we want. This is no makeup makeup. And all these steps just make me feel super fresh and like a little bit more awake, I guess. And the reason that I wanted to film this is because I've kind of been asked for a tutorial on, on makeup like this, but also I am actually, when this video goes up, I'm currently in London <laughs> and I am shooting campaigns. So I am doing makeup all day. I don't want to go completely bare face just because I love wearing makeup, but I want something that's gonna wear really nicely and look fresh, like really fresh and natural. And this is exactly what I'm gonna do when I'm down there. We're shooting for two 12 hour days, so it's pretty long days. And this is just a really gorgeous way to make me feel put together, but I'm definitely not gonna be wearing a, like a lot of makeup. And I just think it's very much like your natural self. Your natural self, but just slightly enhanced. 
super fresh, lovely skin. And you can still see like some imperfections, I guess. I've got a little bit of scarring, but I really like the way that this just slightly evens my skin tone out. I just think it looks really nice. Now, I think that that tinted moisturizer might be slightly too dark for me, just a touch, but because it's so natural, I don't really mind. It just looks like I've got a wee bit of sun on my skin. I'm gonna use a little bit of concealer. I wasn't going to, but I just feel like my dark circles are there today. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger. Such a classic to me and I'm just using really a tiny amount, a tiny amount. I'm going to put a little bit at the side of my nose and my chin and this is going to give a slightly more polished appearance to the skin but still pretty like undetectable. You wouldn't really be able to tell what I've used. It's definitely not obvious makeup. Okay so we're just patting that out. This is actually really similar to the way that I like skin to look on photo shoots. I wouldn't use these products just because they have SPF in them. Really polished makeup, it's lovely. There we go. So I just look a bit, a bit more well slept. <laughs> and all those products work really lovely together just to blend and you can see that I'm not too, I'm not too shiny. I'm gonna use a tiny touch of powder just because you want your makeup to last and this is a very dewy look, it's very fresh. Um, and I'm gonna use a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This is actually shade number one, Fair. And I'm just using a tiny bit of that, just all the places that my face tends to move about the most. This looks really like skin, like really, really like skin. There's nothing heavy on my face at all. Secret weapon, blusher, always. Wearing no makeup, blusher. Wearing a little bit of makeup, blusher. Wearing so much makeup, blusher. So I'm gonna use the Sunset Blush in the shade Sorby. You can see it's super vibrant, but when you take just a little touch, tap, tap, a little bit on your brush, start at the back, and I'm gonna keep it super youthful. Nice and high up on the face. Oh, so transformative. So I'm just gonna keep it nice and high again. I'm not gonna bronze. I'm literally just adding a wee touch of color with my blush and a wee bit across the nose, just youth, youth. I'm so youthful. There we go, pat that away. I'm doing this quite quickly as well because this is really like a no makeup makeup look. You don't want to be spending a really long time creating this. Now that we're here, I'm gonna do my brows. So this is my favorite way of doing brows. I do it like this all the time. Benefit 24 hour brow setter. You'll have seen me do this a million times, but for a natural look, it's just the ticket. It's the best. So I'm just brushing that through my eyebrows. I kind of go back and forth. This product, once it sets, it's really not going anywhere, but you do have a little bit of play time just to get your brow hairs exactly where you want them. And at the front, I like to stick them kind of straight up and then at the sides, I really brush them outwards to get a slight lift. And when they're kind of slightly tacky, I guess, I just get my Gimme Brow in the shade number five, uh, which is slightly darker than my brow hairs. Carefully build them up. And this just really plumps up your brows. It makes your natural brows look slightly thicker, darker, depending on the shade that you use. I just think it's perfect. I think that this is such a perfect brow look, especially if you struggle with your brows. You really can't go wrong keeping to your natural shape like, I never look at photos of myself with brows like this and think, oh. But you know, sometimes when I've gone crazy with the brows or really structured, that's when it can look really different. And again, same thing here. I almost go in the opposite direction to really plump up the front. And then through the length of the brow, I just really up and out. Look at that. Nice. Okay, lashes. So, I started using Revita Lash. I was in the old house, it must be a year ago now. It's something that I always wanted to try. Finally got it, I bought it, and I started using it. And if you follow me on Instagram, or even here actually, you might have seen me talk about it before. The difference it's made in my lashes, they're just so much healthier, the healthiest lashes ever. And it makes makeup really fun. See when you've got a lovely set of natural lashes, it just makes it really, really fun. So the Revita Lash Advanced is what I use. This is it here. It was created by a doctor, Dr. Brinkenhoff, and it was when his wife was going through cancer treatment and he made this and it worked really, really well. So they bottled it up and they started selling it. It was a product that was made with purpose and I just can't believe the difference. I know so many people have picked this up 
from my recommendation and the messages I get are crazy. It's just people saying thank you so much. I've never had nice lashes like this. And it was my Christmas present of choice. I gave this to a bunch of my friends and my mum for Christmas and all of them are obsessed as well. It's just so good. It's just so, so good. So I'm gonna pop this on and I have tried out a few different ways of using this. I used it at night time, but my eyes tend to stream when I'm going to bed. I don't know if anyone else is like that. So I have started using it in the morning and it's perfect. It's great so it does take a little bit of time but just try and remember to use it i just absolutely love it i was so thrilled when they got in touch to work with me so with my love of revita lash they sent me a bunch of other products to try and i am really impressed with the mascara so i'm going to use the mascara next this is the revita lash cosmetics volumizing primer and mascara i was quite new to using a primer. Um, I'm not gonna curl my eyelashes, this is just the way that they are naturally, uh, just so I can show you, because I'm, I'm very proud of them. And I'm just gonna use the primer first. Actually, do you know what we'll do? I'll do one eye at a time so you can see the difference, right, that this mascara makes. So I'm just gonna take my time to build up. And I'm only gonna do mascara on my top lashes today, just because I'm going for that really fresh, natural look. There we go, so primer's on. Don't know if you can see a tiny bit of blue. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go into the other side, which is the volumizing mascara, and I'm just gonna go over the top. And the amount of people that message me asking me what lashes I've got on. I'm like, no, no, no lashes here. How nice, let me zoom you in so you can have a good look. Oh, so thick and lovely. And do you know what I really like about it as well? Even though they're really thick, Thick. It still looks quite natural. I think it's just the way that the product's been made. You know, some mascaras are so dramatic that it doesn't actually really suit a no makeup makeup. But this just looks really fluttery and lovely. Nice, okay, let's do the other one. I'll just keep you close so you can see. Okay, so primer and mascara. I just think it makes getting ready really easy. It's totally changed the way that I feel when I do my makeup. <laughs> okay, let's zoom out. So straight away I just feel more put together. I just think it really frames my face and makes my eyes look so much bigger. Okay, moving on to lips. This is just one of my favourite hacks of all time. I just love using two lip liners to create my lips when I'm going for a more natural look. So I'm going to start off with the Modern Lip Definer by Vive in the shade Rumour. And I'm just going to start with my kind of more natural lip line, I guess. I'm not gonna overdraw. Okay, so you can see that that's pretty dark. What I do now is I go in with a lighter shade of lip liner. So this is the Modern Lip Definer, again, in the shade Brat. It's a more of a honey pink color, and I'm just gonna use that to blend rumor into my lip, slightly push out the lip shape. I love it. So it's a bit darker than I usually go, but because of the kind of pinky tone, I just think it looks so beautiful. A little bit of lip balm, just in the center. I'm gonna use the Cicaplast by La Roche-Posay. I've been talking about this nonstop. It's just my favorite. Oh, I just love it. For the color it is, I know it's a bit darker, but I actually think it looks really natural. I really, really like it. So now all that's left is the glow. So I'm gonna use the brand new Skin Dew, which I am um, over the moon at all your feedback and that you love it as much as I do, it's great. So I'm gonna go in with my fingers and I'm just gonna tap that on because you can see my skin actually looks really natural and it's got a natural kind of matte satin texture to it at the moment. I'm gonna add the glow and I just think this makes my skin look so bouncy and so fresh. And you can see I've actually powdered my face already and it just goes on like a dream still. And I like to pat on my fingers and then just use the kind of pad of my thumb to blend it out a little bit on the nose. Oh my goodness. And I like to do a little touch just on the forehead. I love my skin to look super fresh and dewy. So if you don't, <laughs> you can just use it on your cheeks and miss this part out. But I just love my skin to look super radiant. And the beautiful ingredients in Skin Dew as well, it just it actually hydrates the skin and makes the skin look so like fresh, bouncy and radiant. Last thing, I'm just gonna do my little freckle. Nice, and let's sort this hair out. My hair is actually covered, you can see it. It's covered in oil. I'm washing it tonight and I just have been caking it in oil every day. And I'm just gonna do a low pony. A low pony or a low bun? 
Well, not a little pony. Let's try, oh, let's try the Jen Atkin bun technique. So I'm just gonna get half my hair up. I don't mind if it's got a slight bit of texture to it. And then I'm gonna get the rest of my hair. Wow, that's quite nice. This is actually gonna be perfect when we're on set because I cannot have my hair near my face. The campaign shoot for Vive, I had my hair down and it drove me crazy all day. I need it like out my face. I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> Cause that's a mess. It's almost like the top ponytail anchors where the rest of your hair is gonna go. I'm a fan. Still feel like I could have done that neater, but my arms are starting to hurt. Oh, I look very glossy. This is great. Right, okay, I quite love that trick. I'm gonna keep practicing. I'll link the, the video that I watched, but basically she was just showing you how to do a sleek bun, but with a part, which I quite like. I think that's great. So I actually have a bandeau top on, right? So I'm gonna take this one off. I'm getting into it, I'm getting into it. I do have a top on, but I just want to add a little bit of glow to my body. Oh, Is this no makeup makeup? I don't think so. I think I've transported to, wow. Yeah, I think I've transported to a different realm. I just get carried away. I feel very naked, I may put my top back on. And then to finish off any look, any look, whether you're wearing absolutely not a scrap of makeup, all you need is a pair of hoops, I mean it. I was really kindly gifted these. This is a SEMA. I'm pretty sure it's a Glasgow based business. And I just looked at these hoops and thought they were absolutely stunning. So I'll link them down below. They're just a really small brand. Aren't they beautiful? So thank you so much for giving me these guys. I think this is such a beautiful look, especially see with just slightly tidier hair, which I could have done a better job on, look at that. So guys, that's the final look. I ended up kind of doing my hair as well, terribly. <laughs> I really hope you love this makeup. I do, it's my favorite go-to. I just feel put together, but it really doesn't take that much time and it really doesn't take that many products either. If you take all the skincare out of it, I really use just a, a small handful of products, but I just think that this look is beautiful. I, I honestly would not be surprised to see this exact makeup, I don't know, anywhere at a wedding. I think it's so effortless. I mean, definitely at like work or school or the office or honestly anywhere. I just think it's such a polished, classic look but yeah i really really love it and i hope you do too thank you so much to revitalash for sponsoring part of this video it really is so great thank you guys as always for watching my videos please do subscribe if you enjoyed it and like the video if you liked it and other than that i will link all the products that i use down below and i will see you in the next one bye um which is something that i suffer with puffy face syndrome. I am really excited to say that part of this one, bleh, love a vitamin C. Sorry if the light keeps changing. It does. It does. This is the little pose, bleh. Sydney. I'd like to go to Sydney. Oh, that's terrible. Oh god, I keep on getting it in my wispy hairs. I cannot, I just, I can't imagine not wearing blush. Wow, that's not good. Oh my god, I'm so beautiful. <laughs>